So you may have heard about the Hyperloop. It's a new vehicle of some sort. If you're like a lot of people, you don't actually know what it is or why it's such a big deal. So I'm here today with Daniel Turdeman. Tell us about what is the Hyperloop and what did you see out there in the desert? So the Hyperloop is a concept that was uh, first sort of unveiled to the world by Elon Musk. And the idea was this, these capsules that can go through tubes, uh, magnetically levitated at speeds of, you know, let's say 700 miles an hour. Um, 700 miles an hour. Yeah, and this was kind of presented at a time when people in California were talking about like high-speed rail, and they've got this reduced pressure system that's like taking out the, a lot of the air, and so therefore reducing like wind resistance. So wait a second, you're saying this thing goes 700 miles an hour versus a high-speed, like a bullet train goes 200 miles an hour. This was not, by any stretch of the imagination, a full-scale test. This was just a sled on a piece of railroad track. Uh, and it only went, I believe, 105 miles an hour. Oh, okay. But what it did was demonstrate in front of an actual audience yeah. <laughs> that this concept uh, is doable. What is the next step then for Hyperloop? Hyperloop is a concept. There's actual multiple companies that are pursuing the concept. Um, uh, the one that did this test is called Hyperloop One, and they've got about $100 million in funding and, and a whole team. When do you think I'm actually going to be able to get on a, a Hyperloop vehicle and go from San Francisco to LA? They said that if regulators get on board, mm -hmm. and that's a very big if, uh, that they could be uh, shipping cargo by 2019. But I think what's safe to say is that that's not going to happen in the United States first. Not the United States, why not? Because the regulatory issues are just going to be too, too problematic for them to solve. They're going to need to go someplace like Asia or the Middle East mm -hmm. um, where they can you know, build these systems without sort of the really intense regulatory oversight. Is there going to be another test this year and are you going to go out and see it? By some point by the end of the year they're going to do this dev loop test where they'll actually have it in the tube up on, on an elevated track and they're going to invite people and I really hope to be there to see kind of like this next stage if they can get from like a sled on a, a track at 100 miles an hour to an actual pod. What do you think? Is Hyperloop going to dig the grave of traditional transportation or is it more of a lark that we're just going to see some interesting technology come out of? Hashtag 29th floor on Twitter. See you next time.